Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, let's see. Let's okay. see, let's see. All right, I'm live. I still got like 10 minutes. I got to change the link on my Facebook page. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, I'm live. I still got like 10 minutes. I got to change the link on my Facebook page. Let's see, let's see. All right, I'm live. That's all right. Yes, I got to change the link on my Facebook page. Jesus, what is that? Okay. I hope I'm going to be able to hear people. Lord Jesus, what is that? Okay. All right. I hope I'm going to be able to hear people. Lord Jesus, what is that? Okay. I hope I'm going to be able to hear people. So much feedback. Okay, I think that's better. I think that's much better. And uh, let's see. Okay, let me get this link here. That's on there. Oh my God, this is so weird. I got to find out where this video is at now. Oh, I am glad I did this before I came on because I would be like, what in the world? Where, where is what? What is what? Oh, okay. One second. Alrighty then, let me go over here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the link on my Facebook page because um, I didn't know how to go into the original. Link. So I'm not starting to um, okay. I'm not starting to nine o'clock. Let me go on my page. Okay. I want to connect this one on and put this. Oh, okay. What in a week? Venting session. Why does it say that in the details? Lord Jesus. Let me go back over here and see. They just put whatever they want. No. Uh-uh. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, let me go here. Hopefully, it's right. end of week venting session. This ain't no end of week venting session. Let me check that out. Why in the world? Lord Jesus. Okay. And so now, okay. Got five minutes. 
All right, here we go here. I am so glad I came on here earlier because um, sometimes, you know, you're gonna have technical difficulties and it's just best to um, more earlier with these things. And then there's um, the weather. Something is going on with the weather. Um, all the lights went out in here for like five seconds. Shut down everything. And, um, and so that was something. See, unexpected ever has a card. Okay, I see four people on. Thanks for coming on. I still got a few minutes before I get started and share what I'm going to be doing. If you want to come in, I'm going to leave the information in the um, the, because I would have to invite in anyway. I would have to admit. So if I can't see a name, whatever, I won't do it because that's the only thing like concerned about like. Um, you know, trolls and such, but I, I'm not, I'm, as of now, I'm not too, uh, what's that? Debbie Vincent recently asked, okay, you know what? Uh, so bear with me, because this is the first time I'm doing the Zoom on here. So I'm looking, I'm, I got my finger hovering over something, trying to figure this thing out. Let's see what I said. So, okay, so you know what? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the information in the description section. Because this is not no end of week um, thing that they talking about. Hold on, let me get the invite information. Okay, so now I had a long piece of paper. Okay, so just just bear with me. I'm gonna get it. Uh, okay, how I'm gonna do this, Lord? I'm gonna have to bear with me because I'm I'm really I'm 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 new with this. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so. How I get this information? Copy invitation, great. And so now I can just go back here. Okay. Wait a minute. What in the world is this? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Something different. Oh, okay. I'm right here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So here's the information. I'm putting it in the description section now, and I need to get off this other one because um, for a minute there, I got all turned around. Okay. And um, let's see where we are now. Okay. So, okay. Go back. One more minute, right? All righty. Okay. How do I get back to my video so I can view it? I'm gonna have it on my channel. Okay, y'all. Just bear with me because you know I keep saying that that, that I'm, I'm serious because I'm really new at this. I don't. I'm not. Um, when it comes to being on Zoom on YouTube. But anyhow, you're watching this and I'm still live, even though I'm still trying to navigate it. Um, okay, so. Oh, hi, Julie. <laughs> How you doing? Um, Somebody messaged me for this information. Okay. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. All righty then. So I think I can go ahead and just get started. Um, this is new for me with the Zoom and being on YouTube at the same time. But um, it's fun. It's like, okay, let's go here. All right, got it. Okay, so now I see. So I said hi to Julie. So if you decide that you want to come on, um, you can go in through the information on in the description section. Everything is there. And um, you know, I'll let you in. Keep in mind though that you will you will be live if you decide to come on, you will be live. Um, whatever is behind you will be seen. Whatever wherever your camera is facing will be seen. I, I say that because I wouldn't want to want to come on and then you know, you know, you got something going on in the background, not necessarily bad, but just probably private, and then it's on the screen. So, um, but if not, you could feel free to like just go ahead and chat in the description section, um, in the in the chat section, and um. Whatever artsy project you're working on, you can feel free to share it. If you want to do some coloring and chat, I'm going to be looking up at the chat. Um, hi, Judith. Nice to, nice to have you here. Same as Julie. Nice to have her here. Nice. All right. So this is a wholesome Holy Ghost party in Jesus' name. Hi, Debbie. I hope y'all have something in front of y'all. If not, that's okay. Just watching. That's fine. You could bring your coloring book ever. Uh, let's see. So Julie's from Nashville. What's up, Nashville? That's why I see the people doing on the, on the Facebook Live. So <laughs> I'm gonna try it. So we have Nashville in the house. <laughs> Hi, Aisha. It's so nice that you all have chimed in here. Is anybody working on an artsy activity tonight? I have something I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna show it in a moment. I'm gonna be using my Sizzix tonight. Um, my die cut, die cut um, machine. We have Bronx in the house. How's everyone doing? I know my lights um went out for a second. Deb, did your lights go out? Did anyone else lights go out? Okay. All righty. So if you if you're working on something, oh no, me okay. I know Manhattan was out. Manhattan's um um was out. Let me see. I'm gonna put this over here so I can type when I need to. And I'm gonna move this out the way. Yes, I'm gonna be working with the Sizzix tonight because uh put this there's a delay. There's a delay. Oh, okay. Oh, still, uh, Philly. The storm has passed by here in Philly, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Everybody safe. That's good. I am going to be working with the Sizzix tonight. Um, I got some foam because I want to make some stamps. Oh yeah, that's right, Debbie. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Thank you so much. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. 
Because remember last time I was still on typing and you were like, Samantha, if you're gonna if you're gonna um type, you can just you can still talk. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you for that, Debbie, because I totally forgot. <laughs> So on uh, my fan is on. Um, I hope that it's not too um noisy. But like I was saying, I have got some um. Oh, let me get it here. Some foam. I got some foam because I made some stamps. And I made another one. I made this one. Hold on one second. I should have got to it. Something I want to show. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, you said I don't hear it at all. Okay, thank you, Debbie. So these are some stamps that I have I have made. I made um DIY stamps. I even made these and then just put it on um frame a little bit better. Hold on one second. Um and put it on this acrylic block. So that's what I plan to work on tonight. Oh, the fan, I don't hear it at all. Oh, okay. So um, I did a journal page not too long ago. Matter of fact, let me show you something. I'm gonna get it right here. So I'm gonna put it here. All right, so this is a, a journaling card. Let me the stuff that I made. Oh, I need some stamps for my spice jars. Oh, okay. You mean um stamps or like labels? Or stamp labels. I need some stamps on my spice shows. Oh, oh, labels. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what, Debbie? Let um, we're gonna talk um um afterwards because um, I have something that might help you out with those labels. Yeah, I have something that might um. Yeah, we'll talk after. But um, see, I have made a stamp. This stamp right here. And I use it to make this journal card that I made some time ago. This is something else that I had stamped out too with a DIY stamp. And I've used these and other journals. I'm just making sure I'm in frame. What? You bought a new journal and Bible this week? That is awesome. Oh my God. You got to show it to me. Oh, wow. That is awesome. This is a stamp that I made. This one too. As you see, they got this got ink and this has paint on it. And this one. This is what came out as a result. Yeah, you know, that that is sometimes what happens. That happens, you know, um, we, we get afraid of, of 
of messing it up. You know, well, a tip, a suggestion is to um, like maybe start, if you like using a sticker, start out with a sticker and or, you know, an image that you really like. Um, it could be a sticker. It could be something you print out or a magazine picture. Uh, put it down and then write something like just get the feel of it or also work in the back of um, your journal and Bible on the, the the pages that are not that have like the extra information on it um, you know just to try it out but that is that is a common concern of messing it up um I think of right is everyone still here joining on the conversation? <laughs> yeah, other people could join in. You know, sometimes I've, you know what is so funny? I've gone, um, I've joined in on um, lives before and I was following and I just sat and I wasn't trolling or anything. It's just that, you know, I don't know if, if it was like, I didn't have much to say or whatever, you know? So I know that that's common even in groups on Facebook, on live, some people, they just watch. They really just don't have too much to say. Or they may be doing something in the background. They may be doing something and have the TV on. Yeah, but it will be nice for others to join in the conversation. Right. Okay. See, Aisha says, I'm still here. I'm listening at the moment. Yeah. And so... um. So yeah, I was showing this, this right here, right, this that I had made from this stamp. So what I got tonight, oh, you know what, let me just also demonstrate then how some of this looks. I think that would be kind of cool before I make a couple of the stamps and show what I'm going to make. Okay, you prepping your page. Go ahead, girl. She's prepping her page. All right, I need to get some ink. Some um, an ink pad. So I have a couple here. Hi, expressions of faith. Now her name is Judith. So I think I'm going to just test it. I'm going to show just a little, some little test with some of these, the archival inks. I won these in a, um, in a giveaway. I was so surprised when I won that giveaway because it was thousands of people. And I won that giveaway. I was like, oh, wow. And I joined at the last moment. So... These are two stamps. Let me see how these, these um, let's do them in blue. So if you have foam, there's so many things you can use to make stamps. But if you have foam, um, you can make it also to, um, or you need a pen. But I'm not going to show how to make these kinds tonight. I'm going to use the die cut machine. And then maybe at another time, I'll use the other one. So. Yeah, see, I'm liking that. And I could cut that out. And this was just some piece of foam um, and a pen, a pencil and a pen. That was that. And then this guy, this was try this one. This one says prayer. I should have did it in a different color. Because I can cut these out and use these as labels later. Okay, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do Now I will be cutting these out and using them and some mixed media art in the journal, but I'm liking that. I even like this one too. It's light. It came out light. Can y'all see that? And so we have this one then um, I'm gonna also use this color. This color right here is called Prickly Pear. I'm gonna use it. So see, this is a piece of cardboard. 
So even if you don't have like a block or anything to mount, you can use a piece of cardboard, DIY. Use, we can use what we have. But I like buying stuff too, so. I also like making it, but um, wait a minute, what in the world? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, why did that come out orange? Maybe because I didn't have enough yellow on there. Um, so let's look at these right here. Um, these hearts. These I did not cut out. These are foams. These are hearts that I purchased. And um, you know, I have some ink. Oh my God, it's shaking. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to figure out what was going on. It's because I have I have the computer tilted a bit. Sorry for the shaking. Be a little bit more conscientious of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. Okay, I need to purchase a die cutting machine. Are they expensive? No, I think this one I got. Um, I got that like maybe what? four years ago and I think honestly it was like if I'm not mistaken it was under $70 you know oh she wrote Aisha said I need my journal with me to work on okay oh you're going to get your journal you could do some doodling or something you know um, and Debbie, you know, I have a playlist that um, is for um, Bible journaling, like to start, like it's beginning. But if you know how to draw and stuff like that, um, that maybe there's other people on um, YouTube too, for um, people that know how to draw concrete art. Because um, I'm more abstract. I'm, I'm learning some techniques to learn how to draw. Um, and I could draw some things and I do some observational drawing, but in that playlist, it really is a lot of like, if you want to use stickers and paints and, you know, very simplistic. Um, it's called easy, easy peasy Bible journaling. So for anyone that's a beginner and that may feel like not quite, you know, too comfortable with all the painting and all that stuff, um, that may be, a um, that may help. Oh, you know what, too? I should have probably um, put paint, because you know you can use paint. So even though I'm not doing a journal page, all these elements that I'm just stamping on, I could cut out and use later on something. Oh, okay, I'm gonna send you the link. When I, um, when I finish here, okay, I'm going, she says she's going, I'm, she's going to grab it now. Easy, easy peasy with a P E A S Y. Like peas and carrots. Right. And so these stamps, that's the thing about these kind of stamps. Um, it's not like it has like the most crisp image. It's like this, it's, it's like more distressed. If you look at these, these are distressed. So I would use this in art journaling. Um, yeah, and then a lot of times too, it depends on how much, um, you know, how, um, juicy your stamp, your, your ink pad is. So. Okay. So I just thought, actually, I thought to do this today. I was like, let me just go ahead and do it. I, this is one of my favorites because I like how the letters are all like wonky like that. Um, okay, so that's how some of the ones that I made um, looks. Now, 
with this, I also learned too, you can also texturize it, you know, if you um, ink it and then, you know, you can texturize it. But I'm gonna do that in another video because when I try to do too many techniques in one video, um, when I'm trying to show something, I get kind of all discombobulated. Okay, so here's some foam that I have. And I also have um, some embossing folders. So I have the, the foam and embossing folder. So if you don't have um, a Sizzix and you want to do something like this, some people use a rolling pin, but of course you're gonna have to put down a lot of pressure on a rolling pin. So I'm thinking if I run this, the foam, right, through um, in the embossing folder through the Sizzix, it's going to give me an impression that I can go ahead and then use as a distressed stamp, not a crisp image. I don't believe I'm going to get a crisp image out of it. What I like about these two is that these have adhesive. So when I make the stamp, I don't have to think about gluing it down on, um, you know, I might show the other, I, you know what? I might go ahead and show how to make the other one with the pencil too, not just the scissors. So um, it doesn't matter what color really. So I'm just opening the pack right now. These are, let me see how thick, does it say how thick it is? Um, it should say, um, this is six inch by nine inch. Oh man, um, yeah, it doesn't say the thickness of it. See, um, but I think when I wait, wait a minute, here's another piece of paper because the thickness also helps as well. Oh, they show you some activities to do. Okay, this is for something else. I'll look at that at another time, but we have that. And um, yeah, I'm going to show how to make a, a different kind of stamp too, not just with the scissors. So, okay. So here's the foam. Oh yeah, you know what I also need? I have this too. This is some cardboard, right? So recycling. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this cardboard. I'm going to put this down so I won't um, cut into my table. This is a self-healing mat. Okay. And um, yeah, I don't want to cut into the thing, to the mat. And so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use a ruler. I know I had a metal ruler here, but I cannot find it. Where is that metal ruler? Well, you know what? I'm not going to waste no time looking for it. It's somewhere here. So I'm going to cut off a piece of this cardboard. That's what I'm going to do. And yeah, let's cut. Right, gotta be careful. This thing is no joke. All right, there we go. Cut down in it again. Okay, girl, you got a ton of supplies. Your crafting one must be worth upwards of over, girl. <laughs> of over, girl. I can't even guess. <laughs> But believe me when I tell you, I've seen craft rooms. I don't have nothing on some craft, some um, some crafting rooms, some creative space. I've seen creative spaces where it's actually a business inside of there. Okay, it's beautiful. 
So, um, <laughs> Debbie said, girl, you got a ton of supplies. Thank God. Okay, so now, um, so I could have made a big background sound, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and make, um, you know, a stamp around this side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Oh, like cutting butter. I ain't put no pressure. Lord Jesus. Okay, there we go. Right? And so, man, I got to cut that a little bit smaller. Can't be so wide. And I am not going to waste this. Something going to work for that. So, yeah, I better close this up. That's dangerous to have that thing up like that. Okay, so like I was saying, because the adhesive has sticky back, um, it's going to help when I go to adhere it to this. Here, let me put this here. So, here is the Sizzix. Put this in view. Okay, I think you can see it because I turned it. And um, let's see. Okay, so we I have this one right here. This is some keys, but I don't think I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do this one. This is like brick, like some brick, like stone brick. And I'm gonna put it this way. Okay. And I always need help remembering how to use these things. I don't, I'm, I, I don't always remember. Okay, I think this is it. All right, because I'm seeing a folder. So I got to put that there and then put this, put these two in between. I think that's the right way. I will find out shortly. I think I want to go back again. Yeah, I'm using an embossing folder, Aisha. This is one that I got from, um, oops, I got this from, I think it was, no, this is not one that I got from Stampin' Up. It's, I got this from Tuesday morning, some time ago. Oh, no, no, no. Matter of fact, AC Moore, when they were closing down. AC Moore. Okay. So let's see what it, ooh. Okay. Hey, hey. So now the only thing is that I do wish that it was a little bit thicker. This looks more raised than this one. Wait a minute. I think I did it wrong. Yup, I did. I did. Because this right here, um, I got to make sure that I put it on the side. Yeah, so I'm going to still put this here anyway, because I'm going to test, both, I'm going to try both of them out. But um, you see, but the thing about it was I was supposed to put, oh, okay, I was supposed to put the paper facing this way. I, and I'm afraid, you, you say you're afraid to use them? Yeah, sometimes I think, yeah, because, you know, we see, we like the products and we want to try it, but we don't want to mess up and we don't want to mess them up. But you know, I heard someone say today, if we if we wait to everything is right to try it, then we won't try it. So you know what? It is hot in here. I need to stop this thing from rotating. I need to fan to stay on me. I think the rain made it um hot. But yeah, so we just got to play with it, 
play with the um the the items just go ahead and just jump right in i know it's easier said than done but if not they'll just sit there right they'll just sit there and so um all right so let's try this again so you see right now it's like Almost, it's like, okay, I never did this particular activity that I'm doing now here. So I'm doing this on a live and everybody's gonna see like all my mistakes and everything is out there. Like I'm learning, like I'm not the best embosser. I'm not all like skilled when it comes to using, you know, um, you know my embossing machine and whatever. It's still, it's so, so, you know, it's, it's, that's true. So they will just sit there. Yeah. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a learning process. That's how I see it. And it's fun. And, you know, I figured, you know, it's not a job. So no one is going to penalize me if I get it, get, do it wrong. You know, um, especially if, you know, you're not doing it for anybody when nobody is um, looking, you're doing it in your own creative space. You know, but even if you want to do it live like this, people will think what they want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, you in the process. Okay. I think this is much better because this side is raised. This size is raised. Okay. Now I would say something my observation is that it would be better if this foam was a little bit thicker, I think. Because I think the thicker the foam, the more you have an imprint. And then um, you could get more of an impression. But um, I'm going to see what's going to happen. So this is it. I don't know how well you can see this. But when I stamp it on a piece of paper, you'll be able to see it better. But I wasn't using my phone. I would take a picture and then some, put a live photo. But um, I would probably still do that on... Um, Instagram at some point. So I'm gonna use this distress ink. Now with these with these kind of pads, I've also seen people use um like paint. You know, paint. Hold on. I I know I have a red one here, which oh it has a lot, a lot of um, You know, I'm gonna use this one right here. I have some re-inkers too for um for um my ink pads. But, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's get it going, get it going. And I could also spritz it too to get a more distressed. Cause like I said, this is not for like like to be all like uh perfect stamp it is to be distressed and leave some kind of impression so let's see i hope it works i really hope it works so i learned that um from al john because i like watching her channel she does a lot of diy projects like she makes a lot of stuff from scratch and i learned from her like when you're inking when you're stamping it's good to leave the stamp down for a bit, not because you're trying to so much press the and make the impression um, by your strength, but that you're giving the paper time to absorb the ink. And I was like, oh, okay. <gasps> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my, I'm excited. Oh, my, my, my. 
I am excited. And that stamp isn't even the juicy of juiciest of stamps. But look at that impression. Oh, it's on now. It's on now. It's all, oh, I'm loving that. Because sometimes you want to put down the image of an embossing folder, but it's not like you can emboss inside your page or, you know, um, but you can always emboss something and then do a cutout. And I could, I could stamp this image, like say like if I wanted this in my Bible journaling page, I realize now that I could stamp this in my column. Oh, I'm too excited, y'all. Thanks, Aisha. Let's see. <gasps> oh! Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, now guess what y'all, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get another color and I'm gonna mix it up. So we got some red, we got some purple and we have some blue. Ooh, look at this red. This is the red I was talking about. All right, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna open them up first because I wanna be able to move quick because I don't know how long. Okay, that don't seem like the juiciest of purples. I think I have another purple here, yeah. Yeah, this is better. Right, and then we have this blue. Right, and then we have this red. Let's see what happens when we, um. this is like a multicolor. Let me do this real quick. Put this down. All right. And so, oh, thank you, um, Judith. So yeah, I'm liking this because when I look at this stamp, I'm seeing that it's also like the size of the column of some of my journaling Bibles. So. It lets me to know that I can put, um, I can make one that fits exactly there. And then just, if I want to do like a, a background, I can. Let's see. Okay. And that's the multicolored one. Yes. And I could do two tones. So I like that. I think I want to make one more. But I really, really like this. And I will be using these in some um, my art journaling. But at least I know I can make one in. And I got this side too. I don't even think I'm going to try with that side. But I'm liking that stamp. And so um, I want to do this one with the keys. I, but I want to do, uh, I want to do it um, big. I want to do it the size of the the um the embossing folder. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another piece of foam. If I can find the foam, where do I put the foam? Good Lord. I got stuff all over the place. Oh, it's right here. And then I'm gonna show how to, oh, that's some bubble wrap. I'm like, what's that cracking? Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a pretty color for this one. Purple. Okay. Um, what I was gonna say. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. The size of the, I know I'm gonna have to cut in a little bit more. What did I just do? Oh, it was dirty a bit. Oh, it was a little bit of dirt on there. Okay. Um, you sound like me, LOL. I would 
I will just have something if you miss. Yeah, you know, but because it's stuff all strewn about. So I'm like, where's the scissors? Where's this? Right. And so, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut a little bit inside of the line just to give it some give. And um, yeah. And all of this, I will save. I'm not going to throw this out, not at all. I could have used a trimmer because I think the trimmer probably would have been, it would have been better to use a trimmer that way. I could have an even, even impression on something, but it's okay because most likely I wouldn't be taking this and just stamping a big block and doing something. Um, I will be using it on a big page and getting several blocks. So I think it'll be fine. Let's see. If it, that'll fit in there. I may need to cut it down just a little bit more. But then again, now I'll trim it afterwards. So I, I remember this time I need to make sure that I'm gonna have the negative, like the, 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 the part that I need to be indented needs to be here. Okay, I need to remember. How to, okay. Because this the, the negative part and then there's the um the positive part on those folders. All right, so I have that there. So let me go ahead and run this through. All righty. Okay, so we have that. Take this folder off and then put this one here. And then, okay, so now I'm gonna run this through and this is right, okay. All right, here we go. Oops. And now I'm gonna go through again, I'll go back. Um, all right, how do we gonna do this? Come on, come on. <laughs> Okay, so that was, I think I'm by myself talking. <laughs> come on, come on. Like that's gonna really make it go faster. I'm the one that's moving the thing. All right, okay. So I think the next couple of stamps that I do, I'm gonna do with just a foam and a pencil. Um, and some letters. I'm not gonna use the Civic no more after this. One, hopefully this one came out. Oh, I like it, but you know what happened? Look, this part didn't get inside. I don't know why that happened, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim it off. It's okay. I'm gonna just trim it off and I could use this for something else. Okay, so I'm really liking the way that looks and I need to get a piece of cardboard. So this will go here. I'm gonna give myself some, some gift with it. So, um, I know I probably should use the ruler, but it's all right. Right. You know, usually people stand up when they're doing this, but I'm not doing all of that. Okay, here we go with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right. Okay, you saw it. Oh, okay. That was like said. All right. Okay, so here we go. We have that. I'm gonna put this down here. And so now we have this one. I'm really, really liking um how this um is going with with these um with these foams. I'm really, really liking this. Let me get another piece of paper. And um, so 
So these are some keys. So I'm going to use the brown archival ink for this one. See how this come out. And I could always use paint too. So that looks really kind of vintage like. So I'm going to go ahead and push this down and see how that comes out. I'm really surprised as I'm talking, I'm going to bring this one back out and just hold this down. I'm really surprised though how this came out. I'm really, really liking it. And these are, and this is, these are distress inks at that, with the exception of the blue one. The blue one is archival, right? But, um, and this is the stamp. I'm really, really, really liking that. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, all right. Let me see what this brown one looks like. Beautiful. Okay, I'm really liking this, y'all. I'm liking it so much. I really, 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 really like how these DIY stamps are coming out. Um, it's it it is actually um above my expectation. Um, and I'm so I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful. It's like what I saw in my head is superseding, um, you know, this is superseding it. Because the first thing I, I, I was thinking, okay, I may get some impression, but I didn't think it was going to be so clear, the impression. And it's very, very clear what they are, what the things are, right? Um, so now another kind of stamp, which I could use these um, to demonstrate is um writing uh let me get a pencil here's a pencil right writing something and then put embossing it inside of the um the phone right so i'm gonna put this to the side now the only thing I learned about I now this one I seen um, Kylie Cool do this one. This one, what the paper flew? Get over here, paper. Um, Kylie Cool do this, and um, it just has a background. You're just gonna get the letters and not so much um, the gonna get the letters but you're gonna also get the background too because it's almost like when you do the embossing with the pencil it's like you that becomes I think like the negative space basically and then so it shows the letters because you still have the positive space so I think I could show that better than I'm saying it um so let's do this here Take a piece and just go ahead and um, got it. So I have a piece of foam and a piece of paper, right? And then let me see if I do it this way. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I don't remember how I did it. Okay, all right. So let's see. I want to do um, piece, right? So I'm going to do. P, E, this is a font that I like to do when I'm writing, C, E. It's a real um, wonky type <laughs> lettering. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. Now I'm taking it, even though I wrote it this way, I'm gonna flip it because I have to make sure that I do it backwards. One second. Okay, yeah, I think I gotta I gotta figure this out really one second. Cause this is gonna go down on the paper, right? This is gonna go down, right? And then when I stamp, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. 
Yeah, you have to make sure the orientation is right because then your, your letters will come out backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and now I can see through this. So I'm going to go ahead and just So I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit hard. That way I could get the impression on the phone. So I'm gonna lift it up. Yeah, so I have an impression on the, on the phone. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know, make some indentation on the phone. That's why I was like, the thicker the foam, the better. And you could get foam sheets right from the Dollar Tree or, you know, Michael's crafting foam. This is not the hardest um, thing to get. But if you want stamps and you don't want to be, you know, buying them or whatever, and you want to make your own unique stamps, this will work. Um, I need a class and some instructions to get my, <laughs> my creative juices flowing. Um, you know who's another, what is this girl name? I forgot her, Rebecca. Um, what's her name? I know her first name is Rebecca. But um, she's who I was um, learning from when I first started Bible journaling. Um, I'm going to give you the information because I still get emails from her. And she has workshops and classes. She even had free classes on scrapbook.com. And so, you know, there's a lot of free classes out there that, um, you know, Bible journaling classes to, to, to help us, um, you know, with Bible journaling. Oh, you know what else too, um, Debbie? There are some books for creative, there are some books actually for Bible journaling where you can learn step-by-step -step process. Like I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you some stuff. So you can see, cause you can use that book. Maybe God willing, what I'll do next week is um, actually do one of the techniques in that book because I, I read through the book I don't follow it verbatim, but I've learned some stuff from it. And, um, you know, I tend to see things, get ideas and then tweak it. Um, sometimes I'll copy it verbatim, but sometimes I don't. So here is the piece. Um, something is definitely, I did, oh, no, no. I was getting ready to say I did this wrong, but no, I didn't. Okay, I thought I messed up. Let me get this piece, so. I got one more stamp that I want to show before um, I, I get off. I'm getting kind of tired now. You know, I do stay up late, but sometimes I'm like, um, I guess filming or whatever is a little different. Get. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the um the stuff with Debbie. I'm gonna with the stuff with Rebecca. I'm gonna just send you a link for her, and then you know um she has like a website and stuff. You'll be able to navigate it, and then learn some stuff from her. And then um there's books and stuff, and um like I said, I'm gonna try to do one of those videos. So now you see I have it embossed right, and so I'm gonna take it now. And I'm going to stick it on a piece of cardboard. There we go. So that's made with just a pencil, a piece of foam, scissors, and a piece of cardboard. But of course, we need some ink to stamp it. So to see how it comes out. So um, let's see what color. Let's use another color. What color is here? Yeah, I have some green here. And uh, let's, uh, we're going to put it right here, right underneath here. Okay. So I could even put this on a drawing card and I got a thing. 
Let's see. Let's see what happens. So like I said, the, the embossed part is more going to be more of the negative. And the green, the other part is going to be, it's, it's actually the positive. So let's see what happens. It's sort of like this. It's sort of like this. Man. I'm so appreciative of you all coming on. So much fun. So, so um, Aisha, how you coming along? Express um, Judith, how you coming along? I know you were you two were making something. You were doing well, um, doing something. Um, 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 Judith is prepping was prepping her page, and Aisha went and got her journal. And Debbie, thank you for keeping the conversation going. To everyone, everybody's chiming in. Look, see, I like that. I really do. So that's a different kind. So you see this one has more of a color in the background and the letters are more popping with the white. So that's kind of cool too. That's cool as well. Um, wait a minute, what did I do? Okay, y'all, you see? Stuff getting all crazy around here because I don't. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I stamped in my journal. I use my delusion stamps and by the well for God stamp. Oh, yeah, I was on that site by the well for God. She had some nice, um, there's some nice things in that, um, in that shop. Oh, delusion stamps. Okay. I don't, I don't, I have delusion paints on stamps, so I need to. I wish you could show a picture, Aisha. Maybe are you on Instagram? You're on Instagram. Maybe I can follow you over there. And Judith, I'll see it in the group. I'll finish. I will post the pic in my group and on my Facebook page. Okay, so definitely I'll look in there and see it. Okay. So the last stamp I want to make is this one. Okay. So, with some letters, you see these. I got the, I got these letters here, and um, yeah. So let me pull out a couple of letters. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do R I. A R I S E. I see an I. I see an S. And I see an E. Arise. I'm gonna do that one. And then with the bigger letters, my arm is pushing me. Um, I'm gonna do. Let's see. As you can see, this. Uh, has, let me see. Okay. W. Okay. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. Because um, I know I use some of these for some other stuff, so I don't know if I have like J's and all of that. I think this see this needs to be organized better than this because you see this is the kind of stuff that I don't like. Now, I know it's not a big deal, but when I want to look for something, I don't need to be rummaging. Oh, wow. Thank, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, you my, you my moderator. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Debbie. Thank God. I thank God for your boldness, Debbie. Because you know I could be a bit on the shy side sometimes. I know God has not given us a spirit of timidity. Pray for me. <laughs> okay. So I was looking for, let's see. Um, I really wanted to do 
Okay, here's G O, and I want to find a D dot. Thank you, thank you, God. So, and maybe I'll put, oh, I was going to put a heart, but I want to do that just in case um, I want to use it with another image. So, so now I don't need to use the little pieces of foam. What in the world? Oh, okay. Now this thing is blowing. Okay. Let me move this out the way. And I'm going to get a piece of cardboard. So here we go with this piece of cardboard. So now I have to put, I have to put it, make sure I put it, um, backwards because if not wait a minute am i doing this right a no something is not right here um yeah i gotta wait okay wait a minute i think i know what to do a r a r i S, I'm gonna try something, E. So I never did it like this before, but what I'm thinking to do is take off the paper. Let me move better and better. I think it'll be better. And I'm gonna use this, this right here to help me. I'm gonna use these, um, these, um, lines on this grid. I never thought to do that. Do this right here. And then this one right here. But is it right? No, it's not. How am I going to do it? I forgot how I did the other one. Because this R is going to be backwards. I need this R to be like this. All right, y'all. So just bear with me for one moment. This is a learning process right here too. I did the other one, but I did it so long ago. I don't even re remember how I did that. So when I stamp, I need it to be looking like that. Okay. So let's see something with this one. Yeah, Debbie said rubber jam. It's true because that's what I feel like is what's happening. I'm rummaging through the thing. Good Lord, like. Okay. So G O D. Now I'm trying to figure out like why is this like this? Like why? What am I? Maybe because you know how it is, but you would think that, okay, so if I go like this and I stamp, boom, I'm, I'm good. I'm good like that, right there, like this. So um, is this all we on? So let me go ahead and do God. I wanted to do this arise, but I, I think I know, I think I'm going to have to go and double this R and then glue it down. And I don't want to, I don't want to fiddle with that. So I'm just going to use that this one right here. So let me go ahead and cut this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and peel these off. Right. Wait a minute. Is this right, y'all? Well, we will find out. Put that there. Oh, it's sticking like this. Alrighty. Yeah, if I'm gonna find out. Because I know I can't go and just put it here like that. It's not gonna, that's not gonna. Hey, hey. It's almost sticking. Okay, that's G O. G O. 
And now, let's see. D. All right, now put this one down right here. Okay, so we have that one. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to do this. Okay. And now we have this. What in the world? It did not do right. <laughs> I got to put it backwards. I'm not trying to spell dog. What in the world? All right. I was supposed to put it on the other side. Okay. I had to remember. Okay, I could just switch the G and the D. See, that's what I'm saying. You're seeing all my mishaps. That's all right. Okay, okay. I think that's going to work. Let me space this out a little bit more. That's a good thing about these being like sticky back too. Let's see. So I don't know if the D is right. I may have to switch it around. Let me try it first. But see, that's the thing with the orientation. It feels kind of wonky. Let me see. All right, let's see, let's see. And then I don't know how I have to fix it. Because like I said, that other one, I know I was fiddling with that thing and I hardly remember how I got that, how I did that. Okay. So this seems like the most challenging one because of the orientation. All right, let's see. Oh, no. I am not trying to spell that. Okay. All right. So I was, I had it right the first time. Oh, man. All right. So I want to keep the D the way that it is. And the G, I want to turn upside down and have it over here. I had it right the first time. What made me think that I had it wrong? All right. And then this was this way, right? Okay. Aisha, it's okay. I'm learning something new and I would know what to do if I don't get right. Thanks for being, yeah, you know, that's how I was like, that's okay. That's cool because, you know, it's learning and I think sometimes it's even a lesson in that. Sometimes, you know, you know, um, we don't want people to see our mistakes. And some things I don't think it's for people to see. But some things I think it's okay for people to see, you know. And um, you know, we had we had a we had a party. You think about like if you're trying to learn a new dance or something, we over here art doing our art and stuff. We know we're in the presence of the Lord. We're having fun. So, you know, I feel at peace showing, um, letting, you know, the mistakes and stuff is okay. It's, you know, it's learning. So I'm going to go ahead now and try it. I had it right the first time. I'm just glad that it has a sticky back. That way I could easily move it around. Because if I would have had to glue it down, that would have been messy. Now let's see. And I think it's something with that G. That, um, let's see. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. So even if I flip it, so you know what? It has to be this way. And that's what I, okay. That's the problem. It has to be this way. It literally has to be this way. And there's no sticky back here. So what I'm gonna do, which I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do it. Um, since it has to be this way, I'm gonna get another one. I hopefully I have another G. I should. God, please let me have another G. 
This is a C. I need a G. This is a G, but it's white. But it's okay. All right. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do, since it's no sticky back and it needs to be this way, I'm going to take. I'm gonna take, oh, you know what? I should have, uh, hold on y'all. This is a learning process. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take the glue tape. And I'm gonna stick this here. Okay. Now this part is still sticky. It's still sticky. I'm gonna try to take the tack off. But how did I do that thing last time? I knew it was something that I did. Something, something that I did. But you know what, y'all, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's something that I did with this other one because I remember having a problem with the R. And it was something that I did, but I can't I can't quite remember. But um anyway, let's see. All right. So I'm getting this stick off of here. All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. What in the world? <laughs> what is going on? Yo, what did I do? Did I do it? <laughs> but guess what? I'm not giving up, y'all. I'm not gonna give up. No way, Jose. It's all about orientation. You gotta keep on going, right? I'm gonna try it again. Yes, I am, because I'm gonna cut this out anyway. So let's go right here. I don't got all kinds of <laughs> orientation. <laughs> oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. All right, let's see. I think this is it. Yay! Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's a lesson learned. Like, it really is about orientation, but I'm loving that. I am loving that. Okay. All right. Finally. All right, God. You helped me get it right, God. He's the one that helps us get it right. Thank you, Jesus. He's the one that helps us get it right. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. So y'all got to see all the process. <laughs> yeah. So what time is it now? 10, 14. We've been on for an hour and 14 minutes. Do you have baby pot on a pad you're using for prepping to heat emboss? No, I need to get, I, no, matter of fact, I do have baby powder. I do have baby powder, so that could take off the stickiness, right? Yes, that's right. Go, Jesus. That's right. That's right. I wanted to get one of those... Um, Okay, that would take the stickiness off. Yes, thank you. Because I was going to get one of those, I forgot what they call them, when you're about to emboss and you um, run it over your paper. Um, embossing Buddy, I believe. 
Um, but I never get around to get, I always say I'm going to get one and I always forget to get it. Um, but I'll use a baby powder. And um, that will take the sticky stickiness off of this. So I'm going to be okay now when I go to do a rise. Um, you know, which I might, I know some, it's, it's late, but I don't know. I just want to do this real quick. I guess, I guess getting it right eventually that encouraged me. Isn't that how it is sometimes? You know, when God helps us with something, you know, we begin to feel uh, more confident, you know, in him because we see that he helped us with something. I think the name of it, I think that is the name of it. It just has talc inside of it. Good. So, okay. What kind of material though would I put outside of it? Like, wh what would I, or oh, I could just take the, 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 it by itself. I could just put some powder. I'm trying to think like, what would I put it inside of to rub it on the paper? A piece of sock, you think? A piece of sock would work? Oh, use a little bit and brush it off. Okay. So um, I'm attempting to do a rise. Um, that encouraged me. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that because um, I don't like when I'm embossing something and then it's um, it gets to um, the you know they have the little flyaways of the um, you know the um, embossing powder. I'm not gonna go get the powder now. So, I'll, but I know for in the future. Um, to do that. So right now. Oh, thank you, Aisha. I am loving watching you. It is very encouraging and so down to earth. Thank God. Thank God. I think that's what we all need. I remember at one time, I, it was just so hard for me to be down to earth because, you know, you think people are judging you, but then you get to the point, God gets us to the point where it's like, you know what? No matter if you, somebody's going to always find something to say or think. So, you know, it's like, it's easier to be ourselves than it is to put on um, a, um, a show. I don't have the energy anymore. I mean, years ago, I was scared to let down my garden, but now it just takes too much energy. And I know to use wisdom. There's some things I could share and some things I can't share, but and you know, you know um, it, takes more, it takes more energy to pretend than it actually takes to be yourself and you figure some people are gonna like you and some people are not everybody's not gonna like you everybody's not gonna like us everybody didn't like jesus and i think also too people can connect better when you when people are real they connect with people that are real people people that want to connect and just want to just be it's it they they can't get with a facade if they can't. And then I find too in my walk with the Lord, just being real 
and being transparent and saying, yeah, you know, I can identify, I can empathize. Um, I find that it helped me connect with more people than I used to. Okay, so this is, a, I'm gonna try this purple one because it's royalty. <laughs> yeah, I like this color, purple. Let's see how it comes out. And if it's the error, then I, oh, I know I could fix it. Yes, it definitely helps to connect when you're being transparent. It really does. It really, really does. It really does. It just, it just, it just, it is. It reminds me of Jesus says the truth shall make you free. Hey, glory. All right, here we go. Let's see. Boom. <laughs> I got chills. Yes, real connection helps us to grow. Yes, it helps. It, it does. It really does. All right, y'all. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, God. Boom. It's for real. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such a blessing. You all are such a blessing. Oh, my God. I thank God y'all came on tonight. I'm doing a happy dance over here. That's right. <laughs> I'm so happy y'all came on tonight. You know, and it's so funny. The Lord was like, just go on. Because, Debbie, remember you told me, I think it was, uh, like a month and a half or two months ago, you was like, you you um encouraged me. You encouraged me to put up to live and you said um you could put it in advance to let people know. And I was, and I took that to heart. And I'm just so grateful to, that, you know, God reminded me today. He was like, go ahead and do that, you know, and I put it up and I'm so grateful you all came. You know, oh, thank you so much, Judith. So are you. <laughs> you are so creative. You are very creative, Judith. Oh, wow, y'all. Oh, this did my heart so well. Y'all know this craft space, creatives, craft space, multi-purpose, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, stay like this until tomorrow. I wish I could, sh I might take a picture and show it <laughs> on my Facebook page. This is what happens when we go in. I had a great time here tonight. I'm glad you used that tip. Thank you so much, Debbie. Debbie, thank you so much for moderating too. Everyone, thank you so much for coming in and the encouragement and joining in. And um, I thank God for you ladies. God bless you all so very, very, very much. Y'all have no idea how God used y'all tonight to encourage me. I, and it, it, did, it may seem like a little thing, but believe me when I tell you, he knows. He knows. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go in here with the hubby. I know it's late, but I'm going to get me a bite or something to eat because I'm very hungry. I didn't eat much today. And, um, you know, God willing, I'll do this again. And I look forward to seeing you ladies. Let me know if y'all have anything going on so I can support you all as well. And um, yeah, I'm so blessed. My heart is so full. Thank God. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. All righty. So with that being said, have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night. Get some sweet, peaceful sleep. And I'll see y'all around. All right. Good night. I love you all. Nighty night. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>